All right, here we go. Welcome back to Manchild Outdoors. Today we are going to be doing a string swap. We are going to be taking the stock zebra strings off this Matthews Phase 4 29. All right, and we're going to be putting on the guest strings for the Phase 4 in red. All right, so today I'm extremely tired. I want to see what these look like. I've been out cutting the grass all day long. Just got back from vacation. So I'm hot. I'm a little miserable in my hair. My wife's hair gets on everything. I'm my bum. <coughs> all right, so we're gonna be switching these out. We're gonna be doing a complete bow, bow build in increments. So this is gonna be part one. All right, now we're gonna go through to doing a complete setup from the shop to the field. All right, so. Here we go, let's get started. All right, so first off, you gotta have bow vise to do a string swap, all right? They have the little uh, cables, the field assist strings that, I forget exactly what they're called here, where you can put them on these little tabs right here, and uh, and you can do like the main string swap. But you can't do the cables, and you can't pull the cam down, so you have to have a bow vise, all right? So we are in a bow vise, I have a last chance archery, both vice, absolutely love it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start changing the strings. Um, I had it set up to shoot before, but you see I have this little, you know, string in here, and I didn't even put a peep in it. I just wanted to see how it fired. Um, I have a rest that I had tied in. I'll leave all this stuff on here in case for whatever reason crap happens and I need the old string for whatever reason. All right, so here we go. Let's start doing this. All right, so first I'm just gonna put some pressure on this. Get some pressure on it, yeah. All right, so it's easy as that. Get some pressure on it. Let's start breaking into the strings. All right. So, of course, I always look forward to the stickers. Just open. Now, later we're gonna have to tune these and put twists in and out, most likely in the strings. But they're all, you know, paper clips together you can see. So we want to maintain them twists. We don't want to unravel them or add any because if we do what's going to happen is we might throw everything all out of whack and we'll have more work to do. Alright so let's try our best not to do that. Now with the old string we're going to try to maintain the same twist taking off putting it back out. So we put the clip back in there and hopefully everything stays in time. Alright so I'm going to start with the main string. Find that in there. Alright we're just going to separate all the strings. Main string, cables, and here's the yokes. All right, I'm gonna scatter everything. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with this string. See the main string. Super easy breezy. Alright, so I'm gonna kinda hang these over here. Now clip them together later. Alright, so I'm gonna figure out where the top is by looking for the little string that put in there for these. So that's gonna be the top. So there's the top.
right, so once that is on, we double check and double check again, triple check, quadruple check, make sure everything's in, so I am going to release some pressure onto that string, and bend it into the grooves. So I want to make sure everything seats up good. So there we go, the main string's on, it's that easy for a main string. All right, now the main string, like I said, you can do with the field system, the field string, whatever they call it again, you know what they call it. And that's already looking really very, very cool. All right, so now I'm gonna put some more tension on it. Now we're gonna start one yoke at a time. We're gonna have to remove this, so I'm gonna do that now. So, this thing right here, the little roller, that's to get one of these strings out. All right, there's a bigger wheel in the back and there's a smaller wheel in the front. Do not mix up the orientation. I like to take everything, put it together back here, so I won't accidentally hit it. All right, Let's start with the back one first. All right, so now to take these cables off, we have to remove these screws from either side. There's little spacers and stuff in there. It doesn't matter which side you take off. Just take one side off and use the screw to, you know, the Allen key to push the axle. I just put a hand over here because see me catch that? I just dropped this and I just caught it. I think I'm Spider-Man. Like that was awesome. Glad I caught that on video. Because like my reflexes are insane. Really. That was impressive. If you weren't impressed by that, sorry. It can be a rough video then. So there's a little space, there's a little space or like washer thing here. I'm gonna take it off too, you can see it. The itty bitty watcher and put it right there because I don't want to lose that. Now just take a take an Allen key and push that through. Now with the axle do you'll notice that this falls out. So at this time, what did I do? Oh, I'm missing the yoke. So somehow. I might have dropped the yoke on the ground. So don't drop your yokes on the ground. All right, so this one's gonna come out. Check your orientation of your string. All right, so it feeds up, the loop comes up to here and then it comes through, the loop terminates right there. So make sure your loop's the right way. So everything is the way that the manufacturer had it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this little yokey, a little okey dokey yokey here. Get it ready. Right, so there's that. All right, so I'm just gonna pull this out. Because I'm afraid of dropping this on the, on the ground. You don't want to mess up your cam, right? That'd be bad. Right, so I'm just going to take that out like that. Put my other one on. I'm not even worried about it really being on the rails yet. I'm just worried about it being in the right place. And then I'm going to put it all back together.
and now I'll seat these before I got everything cinched up. Take this little plastic piece off. Oops. Forget plate your axle all the way down. Next. Now, good thing is, I didn't look close enough on the orientation of this. I know this is the top one. I don't remember where they cross, which is totally okay because I have another bow that I can compare it to. If you don't, definitely take a picture of orientation of everything. All right, so there's one. Oh shit! Oh, I messed that up. 
Okay. Alright, so here you go. See, this is a little screw. Take out. Now, this doesn't do any, this doesn't have anything to do with tuning it. We are just doing a string swap right now. <clears throat> Bear in mind, I don't do this every day. I'm not a shop mechanic. So, if you're doing it yourself, it's gonna take a lot longer and you're gonna finesse things a little bit more like what I'm doing. Just pointing that out. So if you look at me and you're like, he is a bumbling idiot. He's taking forever. Well, I don't care how long it takes me. It's the only bow I have to do. And that's a good thing because I'm gonna micromanage the shit by doing this button. And it's gonna be legit dialed in when I'm done. Right, so that axle's all the way in. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on when I'm at it. I kind of unraveled this one a little bit. 
it is what it is. When I start doing the timing, I'll catch it then. There we go. Definitely this should have some twists in it, but it doesn't look twisted at all. We'll see. Later. We'll get everything together. Super cool. Very, very super cool looking. Now I'm just gonna check and make sure everything lined up right. Tension on it. Too much tension. Double check everything. Triple check everything. Because if it comes apart, it's gonna really suck. All right. Got red. There you have it. All right. So that is a string swap. Super fast, super easy. No tuning involved, just cables and strings.